I was about to say, what's up guys, welcome to another 5 Minute Friday, but I'm just going to go ahead and say that this is probably going to be more than 5 minutes. There's a lot of epic things happening right now, but first, today's episode is going to be a review because I found this on my doorstep today. So Benro sent me that, and I'm not entirely sure what it is. I think it's their slim travel tripod. So uh, I came out here for these epic clouds that you can't see right now on a nice windy New Mexico day. And I'm gonna do some things to test this thing out. I'm gonna use the drift method. Freaking incredible. Round F16 for that to get that sunburst. So first of all, it says, it says right here, 8.8 pound max payload. Well, I can tell you right now, I'm gonna test that today. Because uh, I have my 1DX2 and my 5D4 with some pretty big lenses, and those are the only cameras I have other than my phone. So I'm gonna test those out. So let's get in here. You know, I thought I was gonna do an unboxing, but I'm just not really an unboxing kind of guy. See, there's the box, and now it's unboxed. So. Let's get this set up and see what we can get. All right, it's officially out of the box, ready to roll. I'm gonna start with uh, putting my 5D Mark IV on it, which is over there time-lapsing. So far, it feels really, really well made, uh, especially considering that this thing is only like a hundred bucks. So, real quick, I couldn't find this particular model, the Slim, on Benro's website, but it is on Amazon. So I will put the links for you guys down below, and there's two models. There's a carbon fiber and an aluminum one, and this one is actually the aluminum one and there's really not that much difference. The payload's the same, the height and everything else is the same. The only difference is the carbon fiber one is 0.4 pounds lighter. Now well, we made it back to the 5D4, which is getting blown around from this time-lapse. All right, so as soon as this time-lapse is finished, here in just a couple minutes, we'll switch tripods and see how it does. It just got so windy out here, like 40 mile an hour winds right now. So this is still here and I've got it set properly. You know, I've got it uh, to where the wind is going this way and it's angled down, but it's holding the 5D4 with this filter while it's shooting that time-lapse. And that's pretty impressive. So what I'm gonna do now, as soon as this time-lapse is done, I'm gonna switch it out and put the 1DX Mark II on here uh, and I've got a 24 to 105 on there and a 16 to 35 on here. But I'm gonna put the 1DX2 with the 24 to 105 on this little Benro Slim and see how it does. Well, the wind finally calmed down. I got the 1DX2 on there. So the upside of the 1DX2 is it's heavy. So it's gonna have a little more weight to keep it from blowing around as much. The downside is it's probably close to that eight pound payload. I've only got the 24 to 105 on it, but so far I'm really impressed by this tripod, especially given the value. Uh, I, I have a, a number of Benro tripods and I've always recommended them. Also real quick, this is not sponsored in any way, shape or form. I actually did win this tripod from a Benro giveaway recently. So that's how I got it, and I just figured that I would do a review for it and see how it compares to my other travel tripods. And so far, I have a, a Benro Travel Angel that I've been recommending for years, and I've had it for probably five years, 
and I think this is definitely a nice upgrade too. I like the new head. Um, there's some wonkiness to it. It has the the pan tilt. It has the pan um, numbers on there, but you can't pan with it, you know, because it's a single single action thing there. But I do like the Arca Swiss compatible plate. So another thing I really like are these new twisty legs. And Benro's always had the twisty legs on a lot of their stuff, but I think they feel a little bit different. There's like a little bit of a lock to it when you twist and you can just, you can feel it a little bit better. It's hard to explain, but I definitely like it better than my uh, five, six year old original travel angel. All right, so it's starting to rain. So I'm gonna pack it up here and head to the car. But uh, this is, this is part one of my review. So this is just my initial test, which was a pretty good test. It endured 30, 40 mile an hour winds. It's raining right now. The rain is picking up. Brittany, did you grab those filters? All right, yeah, the rain is really picking up. So I'm gonna run in my car now. All right, time to go, Brittany. Time to go. Well, in the course of about 20 feet coming back to the car, we got completely dumped on and it's still raining, which is cool because here in New Mexico, it's rained about three times this year and uh, we need all the rain we could get. But that's the end of part one of this review, the unboxing, my first impressions. Like I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by the rain and hauling back here, is that I'm going to Colorado in a couple weeks and I'm going to teach one of my uh, astro photography and landscape workshops and it's gonna be a lot of backpacking and hiking and I'm gonna need all the weight savings I can get. So I'm gonna test this out and compare it to a couple of my other Benro tripods. But so far, based on how it handled the 5D4 and the 1DX2, I think it's gonna do a great job and help me get hiking to the places I need to get without carrying a super bigger, <laughs> without carrying a super bigger tripod. I'm pretty sure that's a, a real phrase, right? Super bigger? So like I said earlier is I did win this, so I didn't actually pay for it. And that was through, uh, I think it was a Facebook and Instagram competition that Benro had. So super thanks to the guys at Benro. If you guys are watching this, I really appreciate it. And I'm definitely gonna put it to good use and uh, make it earn its keep around here. So if you have any questions about this or anything you wanna know about uh, anything concerning this or any of the other Benro tripods I have, leave them in the comments below and I'll definitely answer them. Like I said, I put the links for this down below if you wanna check out the descriptions and the reviews and all that. So if you like this stuff and you wanna see more, definitely make sure you subscribe to the channel. I've got new videos every Tuesday and Friday. And make sure you hit that like button, it really helps me out. Thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next episode.